Hey everyone, David Nielsen here on behalf of our entire team at Platinum Idaho Real Estate. And in this market update, I'm gonna break down mortgage rates so that you understand why they're fluctuating and how that affects our current market. But for the monthly update part, I'm not gonna break down the numbers because really there's nothing too exciting to report. Instead, I'll just tell you that inventory is a little bit higher than it was this time last year. And also compared to a year ago, home prices are up about 7% for existing homes and about 10% for new construction. So overall, it's a great market. Everything's doing really well. But you may have noticed that mortgage rates dropped big time about three weeks ago, over a quarter of a percent, and now they're hovering around four to four and an eighth percent for conventional loans. And these are the lowest rates that we've seen for over 14 months. Now, most economists think that what caused the recent drop in rates is the fact that when the Federal Reserve met on March 20th, a few weeks ago, the Fed, they left the federal funds rate completely unchanged. And that's not what they said they were gonna do. In fact, last year at the end of 2018, they announced that they would increase the federal funds rate two to three times this year in 2019. And they only meet about eight, I think they only meet eight times a year. And a few weeks ago, the Federal Reserve Board completely scrapped the idea of raising the federal funds rate. And it cited a couple of things, slower growth of household spending and business fixed investment in the first quarter, as well as global and financial developments and muted inflation pressures. So in the English language, that basically means that the Federal Reserve is concerned about the economy and they don't want to go crazy by raising interest rates because raising interest rates is going to have a trickle down effect on growth and spending and inflation. Now I want to explain that mortgage rates are not the same, nor are they directly correlated with the federal funds rate, but movement in the federal funds rate does impact mortgage rates somewhat. For example, in 2007, the Fed started dropping the federal funds rate from about 5% to almost 0% in a 12 month window. And that's also at the same time when mortgage rates really dropped from about 6% to just under 5% and they've continued to drop below and hover and bounce around ever since. So it's fantastic for buyers because right now, rates are at 4% or just a hair over when just last November, they were pretty close to 5%. So I wanna just share with you what the savings rate might be for let's say a 5% interest rate reduction. If you were to take a loan of 300 grand, you're gonna have about a $100 a month saving if you get a 5% reduction. Now that's fantastic news for buyers because right now rates are 4% or just a hair over when last November they were close to 5%. So what's the savings of say a 5% in, or interest rate reduction? Well, for a loan of $300,000, that equates to about $100 per month savings. Of course, over 30 years, that's like 30 grand of just straight up interest savings, not even including the time value of money, which makes that even more valuable. But of course, most people don't stay in their homes for 30 years, but I will say that most people are probably paying a mortgage for at least 30 years as they continue to get new loans on their purchases. But I don't think it's the math over a 5% increase or a 5% reduction in their mortgage rates that's really alarming to people. 100 bucks a month may be a great big savings for a first time home buyer, but for many people, it just may not make that much of a difference. I just think that psychologically, buyers like to have a lower interest rate. They want a better deal, it does increase their buying power, and it just gets people off of the fence. So it kind of boils down to simple economics. If you have a lot of people jumping off the fence to buy because interest rates are so low, yet inventory is still very low, so in other words, you've got a lot of demand and very little supply, I think that's gonna keep a continuous pressure on prices here in the Treasure Valley. And I still think we're gonna see prices going up for the rest of this year. But keep in mind, the Federal Reserve Board nixed their plans to raise the federal funds rate because of slower growth of household spending and because of global economic and financial developments. So basically, the Fed is worried, the Fed is concerned. Jerome Powell and the other board members, people who are a lot smarter than I am, and perhaps even smarter than you are, they're concerned about the economy. And so the bottom line is, 
as I've said this before, it's not gonna last forever. If you want a lower rate, start looking for homes, meet with the lender and get locked into something now. If you wanna sell top dollar and you wanna pull some of your equity out of your home, I strongly, strongly believe if you've been thinking of selling in the next few years, that this is the year to sell. And we can definitely help with that transition, of course, so please feel free to reach out to any of our team members anytime and we can answer any questions that you might have. But in the meantime, I hope that you enjoy the warmer weather and we'll catch up with you soon. Take care.